Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Kristen and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, so my PayPal is fixed. If you guys wish to donate, you can do so. I'd appreciate it so much. Definitely need it. Also, you can book a personal reading now. I had problems with my PayPal, but it's fixed. So um, this seems like it's on my best on my breast, like it's a pin or something, but it's not. So anyway, so guys, everything is below. Everything you need to know. The readings, you can book your reading right now. I won't be doing them until January though, okay? So let's get into the reading. This is, we're going to start with Sag. Sag, happy birthday, Sag. I hope you guys uh, went and checked out my um, lunar eclipse shift. It was really, really um, profound. I will do another one also. This was the lunar partial eclipse in Gemini full moon and now we're i will do the same for the total solar eclipse in sag coming up on the 14th so the first half of december by the way uh sag this is your december reading the first half of december is like lit i mean there's a lot going on so i have my notes here if you're wondering why i'm looking at it so we're going to start off with uh on the 15th we have venus entering sag what do you love? What do you want? What are your aspirations? What are your dreams? What are your goals? You know, and don't be afraid to dream big. Then we have also, uh, sorry, Mercury first entering uh, on the first today is the first. I don't know if this is going to upload today. Today, on the first of December, Mercury has entered Sag. Again, Mercury and Venus in Sag. Mercury on the first, Venus on the 15th. That's like, okay, planning what you want your life to look like and start planning and don't forget the south node is in sag leaving behind your past karma paid after hard work you know lord knows we've been like working 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 since the beginning of 2020 it's the year of change you guys and opposite that we have gemini with the north node so mercury the ruler of gemini is in sag with the south node you know helping you figure stuff out and Venus is there for your passion, your aspirations, your goals, your dreams, your well-being, okay? Self-love. What is the best that you want for yourself? And no limitations here. Go for it. Start writing it down. Start, plan start planning, okay? Then we have, um, what's next after that? Chiron will be going direct in Aries on the 15th. It's been retrograde for a while now. Chiron, the wounded healer, is there with Mars direct so i think you know we're, we're the healing we're seeing the results of the healing we are feeling much better physically about ourselves mentally you know we're optimistic okay we're optimistic we're ready to go and you know achieve our goals then what's next uh then on the 17th of december we have saturn entering aquarius wow wow again self how you show up to the world, your creativity, innovation, the new you, show it off, show off the new you and don't be afraid, be bold. Then we have Jupiter as well entering uh, on December 19th, Aquarius, which is the reward planet. You know, Jupiter is the, it's Santa Claus. So anything is possible guys, okay? So Sagittarius, happy birthday, plus you guys have the sun in your sign. So definitely good, good luck on you, uh, on your side, sorry. Okay, so go for your dream, Sag. So today we're, I have a bunch of cards. Uh, we're going to do the Tarot Deluxe, but we're going to start with an energy oracle as an overall energy. Okay, by Sandra and Taylor. I don't remember all the, I do have the boxes here though, so I could probably tell you guys who the decks are by. Okay, so let's get into it. Sag, please spirit, Sag, Sag. What is Sag December? What's their message? What's the main energy? Hope you guys are doing okay please don't forget to share the video if you feel like it and especially subscribe guys okay please subscribe it takes a second and like as well okay all right spirit what do for sag please what's the main energy for sag main energy for sag here we go sag ready or not here we come rest in rejuvenation but i wasn't ready Let's see. You guys might, you know, be feeling a little bit anxious because of all this energy. Especially you with this, oh, this total solar eclipse that's coming. 
Look at this, door to personal healing and happiness. This is your energy, seven, very spiritual number. Seven is my favorite number, very spiritual. So guys, door to personal healing and happiness. Look at that rainbow. This is what is available to you right now. This is the door opening up. You know, once that total solar eclipse happens, it's this instant shift. You are going to feel it unless you sh um, voluntarily shut it down. You know, remember guys, free will. So isn't this beautiful? Who wouldn't want to walk through that door? It's not only personal healing, but it's happiness. Of course, when we're healed and we feel you know, no longer, like we're no longer talking ourselves down. We no longer are, you know, seeing the negative in all things. We have hope, we have faith. Then comes joy because it's infinite possibilities. You know, this is a card of infinite possibilities, Sag. It's up to you whether you are going to take it or not. Okay. So this is your main energy, beautiful main energy. Here we go again with the props. It's very difficult for me, as you guys know. No, no, no. Okay, now we're going to go into the Tarot Grand Lux by Tiro Marchetti, and then I will clarify these. My nose is itching already. I will clarify these, sorry, with uh, <clears throat> the Kipper deck, okay? So what do you have for Sag, please? We're going to do a cross. Not a Celtic cross, but it's like four-card cross. Uh, I'll show you guys. You'll see. Spirit, what do you have for Sag, please? Sagittarius. This, this is driving me nuts, as you guys know. Okay, we have for Sag, please, Spirit. December, Sag. What's the message for Sag, December, please, Spirit? Sagittarius. Up, here we go. Three. No reversals today. That's how I'm feeling it. Here we go, Sag. Tarot. Spirit, what do you have for Sag, please? December. Energy. What's the energy for Sag in December? Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know? December, Spirit, Sag. we're taking them they flew like crazy that one's like standing up take it with my foot so we got three one more and then i'll pick them up there we go sorry guys i need a bigger table <clears throat> so first card was the two of coins see that that's that unrest that's that um not that's lack of balance like i was saying um because it said rest and rejuvenate remember when i was pre-shuffling so i feel like you guys yeah a little bit overwhelmed you're a little bit overwhelmed for sure okay for sure then we have three of swords there's some disappointment here okay <clears throat> then we have yep but it's picking up again king of wands I mean, Knight of Wands, sorry. And the Ace of Pentacles. So this is pretty good, Sag. So things are definitely picking up. Wherever you felt like you were confused, um, hard, not heartbroken. I mean, Three of Swords is heartbreak. But I don't feel... Uh, uh, maybe it's like thinking about a heartbreak, a past heartbreak. You know, a resurfacing of um, some kind of pain you might have went through maybe last year, earlier this year, or, you know. It's just a remembrance. Don't remember, guys, we just got out of Scorpio, so we were like, whether we liked it or not, we were liked it or, or not, sorry, we were, we were flung into the underworld, you know, because it's time. It's time to heal. And whether we like it or not, I mean, it's... Our shadow is bigger now. It's, it's in our face. We can't run away from it. So maybe that's that residual shadow here. That's on your mind, right? See, it's a top card. 
this is kind of the past overwhelmness maybe it was about a job you know you had to leave the job maybe you're thinking of leaving a job but you have like you have desire you have willpower here because you have the knight of wands you're ready to move i felt that energy too when i was um um kind of like getting downloads because at night i think about my readings and i think about the cards i'm going to use and i knew i was going to start with you guys and i kept feeling this energy of like you guys are done you you're done being stagnant you want to move you're excited you you want to pursue something you want fresh newness you want to walk through that door you want happiness you know you want joy and you're going for it you know you're not being complacent anymore you're not you're going after your dreams which is what i was saying this is the perfect time to do it because the sun is in your sign like i said venus and mercury are there helping you sag this is the perfect time and this is the energy i'm feeling at least it's the energy available to you guys remember it's up to you Sag. it's up to you so yeah knight of wands you're ready to go you don't want confusion anymore you're ready to drop whatever is like heavy They're throwing you off balance two of coins is all about balance right um dealing with a lot of stuff at the same time but managing but sooner or later one ball is going to drop right you can't just be juggling stuff all the time then you have your mind racing about it you know maybe a little bit of fear of not knowing you know of the unknown basically but deep in your gut you know you have this fire this knight of wands you're ready to go on this journey towards your ace of pentacle this new beginning you know that you're ready you know you can do it and the universe is backing you here and venus is there make helping you identify what it is you know mercury too is giving you a clear level headed about it you know getting rid of all these doubts these three of swords energy okay so that's really good, Sag. Um, let's see. Let's let's clarify with the Kipper. Also by Tiro Marchetti. That's really good, Sag. There's definitely a shift here of energy. Like I said, I really feel like you guys are. You're 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 ready to to, to make the change. You know, you're ready to you make you want to make the change to for a happier life here. You've been really stagnant for a while. You're finally seeing what needs to change, you know? That's what I feel for you guys here. Finally, this change is coming here. And you're, you're, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take it in your own hands and you're gonna make it yours. And you're gonna make sure that you get exactly what it is you want because now you do know what you want and what you don't. One thing for sure is that you are not happy where you are now and you're gonna go pursue your happiness, okay? that pentacle that ace of pentacles okay let's see let's clarify Ooh, jackpot sudden wealth 11 that door that personal door to happiness is going to bring you an abundance monetary abundance if you've been feeling like juggling like you know you didn't have enough resources two of pentacles you know and it's creating like kind of like um confusion in your head um making you think of past things you know get putting you in that fear energy you have sudden wealth coming here and this ace of pentacles is screaming that as well be but all you have to do is just go for it you know courage on your sleeve jump on that horse and go 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 the energy is very favorable for you right now sudden wealth let's get one more and it's a 11 it's a portal One more spirit. That's a lot. Woo! Cards are jumping. One more spirit. Well, let's see what comes out. Sudden wealth. Jackpot. 777. Seven, seven. And this is a seven. Guys, this is amazing. Main male. You guys are definitely stepping into your masculine power. This is a one, 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 one. Um, it might be um, a job because you have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody might be offering you a job here, a male figure. figure. Um, also, somebody might invest in your project, Ace of Pentacles with the sudden wealth and the main male. You know, um, there's definitely some energy around you very favorable energy not only spiritually you know energetically right 
the momentum the energy is gaining momentum there's achievement here there's courage there's movement forward and there's definitely money there's support this main male i don't know who this is are you marrying into money that could be it too guys you know from that heartbreak here you go this offer here this solid pentacle offer from a male or somebody very masculine and it, who's very wealthy and you're going to be super happy and it's exactly what you need to heal from whatever this three of swords is well we like that look, oh gosh look i just flipped it wealthy man guys i'm telling you there's somebody who's very wealthy who's coming into your life and who's going to offer you this pentacle I don't know who it is, but it's an invest somebody who's going to invest in you, believe in your project, or it's marriage. It's some kind of collaboration, basically. Male men, wealthy men, sudden wealth, and the Ace of Pentacles. That's a lot of money, guys. That's that's a lot of money. Let's get advice from Spirit from the Good Tarot here. Just one card. What's the advice? You know. What's the advice from spirit or what's the warning or let's see from the good tarot. There's money on the board all over. Wherever you've been worried about finances, worry no more. That's Jupiter, your, your ruler going into Aquarius. It's in your second house of Capricorn, guys. Okay. Yes. I say it could be a project, could be somebody investing in your project. Some male figure here, okay, is coming and is getting you out of five of pentacles energy, feeling lost, alone, lackluster, um, financially mm, not so good. Five of pentacles. This this tarot deck is really pretty because it doesn't depict it like the other ones. But remember the five of pentacles if you guys know tarot. Somebody's out of a church. They're like, uh, I don't know. They're just like, they've given up. Nothing is going right. It's a five. But fives bring changes. So, guys, wherever you've been juggling with money, two of pentacles here, feeling like finances were just not working, well, <laughs> that, my friends, is over. It's over. Let me just tell you right now. I mean, <laughs> hello? There's so much money on the board here. It's crazy. There's money everywhere. Sudden wealth, ace of pentacles, wealthy men. <sighs> Guys, look at this. This ace of pentacles, abundance, plus sudden wealth is going to hit you out of the blue. Out of the blue. Okay. Now, let's get just one oracle for you guys i have so many cards here so i'm gonna choose i just decided to put a lot of oracle cards i have the earth magic i have the goddess oracle i have the i feel like i want to pull a romance angel because this could be love you guys let's get a let's get a let's get a romance angel there are two men here two male i don't know if it's the same one there's a male man main male and then there's a wealthy male see spirit what is this what do you want to tell Sagittarius about if this is love what is it about then I'll get another if it's not about love guys okay what is this about spirit I'm hearing from rags to riches not rags literally I'm not saying you guys were like you know but that's how it feels sudden wealth so many pentacle energy here. So much abundance and happiness too. Because, you know, necessarily, pentacle doesn't mean happiness for sure, you know, all the time. But with this door to personal happiness, it's not only abundance, like material abundance, but just happiness. Oh my God, look at this. Finances and career. Guys, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Told you guys, somebody is, mm, this could be a male. I mean, this could be a male. It is. 
what I'm saying is this could be a marriage proposal, somebody you're going to date who's going to be infatuated with you. <sighs> True love. Who is wealthy as hell. Wealthy as hell. This is a romance of a lifetime. This is love, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is love. Uh, there's a man here who's very wealthy that you're going to collaborate with. It's a relationship. Make it as, you know, it could be love, it could be work. <clears throat> All I know is that they're infatuated by you, what you do, <clears throat> and they're willing to invest their time in you. It's true love. There's no, go for it. Um, your life is about to change. Rags to riches. Rags to riches. Let's get a last card. For the ones that are not, that are like, no, hell no, love what? No thanks. Or that are already in a relationship, you know? Your partner, this could be your partner too. Your partner could be um, the one hitting the jackpot, you know? Getting a job, a raise. Getting an investment on a project. That could be it too. Okay. One last card spirit from the Earth Magic. Stephen D. Farmer, I think. The Romance Angels Angels uh, are by Colette Van Reed. Okay. This one too. The Good Tarot. All right, Spirit. One last card for advice for Sag. Beautiful. Happiness, healing. Look at the look at these rainbows. Sagittarius. Santa Claus has come. Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay. Someone called the reading. Santa Claus is coming to town, Sagittarius. Oh yeah. Santa Claus is coming to town. I don't even know the cards. There's so many cards. It's beautiful. Sagittarius. Wow. Guys will enjoy it. Enjoy it. Beautiful. Look at these rainbows. It's amazing. Look at these cards. Beautiful. You add the sudden wealth. What else do you want? What else do you want? It's beautiful. Sag, enjoy this. You, happy birthday. You well, you you thought you were you know things were things were boring. Things were boring. Sorry, I'm excited. You you thought things were boring. Nothing was moving. Your life was still. You wanted movement. You wanted newness. Well, here you go. Talk about a shift here. This is beautiful. Beautiful, Sag. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like to donate, do so. Everything is below. Love you guys. Bye, Sag. Enjoy. Bye. Happy birthday.